couple released the statement on Sunday after podcaster Joe Rogan made false claims about COVID-19 on the platform. Their statement read, Since the inception of our Chule, we have worked to address the real-time global misinformation crisis. Hundreds of millions of people are affected by the serious harms of rampant mis- and disinformation every day. Last April, our co-founders began expressing concerns to our partners at Spotify about the all-too-real consequences of COVID-19 misinformation on its platform. We have continued to express our concerns to Spotify to ensure changes to its platform are made to help address this public health crisis. However, the statement has angered some Americans, with New York Times best-selling author Candace Owens tweeting, Every day Harry and Meghan wake up and think how can we make millions more people around the world hate us? Oh, I heard Joe Rogan has 50 million unique listeners, let's write an open letter indicating our inherent self-importance, and demand Spotify begin censoring him. President of Judicial Watch Tom Fitton, also joined in the conversation, tweeting, Breaking, foreign national Prince Harry, and family member of foreign head of state, wants to censor at Joe Rogan and millions of other Americans. In a statement, a spokesperson for the Sussex's Archule Foundation warned of the impact of rampant mis- and disinformation. In response to the mounting pressure, Spotify CEO Daniel Eck pledged that the platform plans to introduce warnings that will direct users to a data hub of coronavirus facts. Spotify also published existing rules which ban contributors from sharing false information in their content that could cause harm. In a statement, Mr. Eck acknowledged that the platform hasn't been transparent about the policies that guide Spotify's content and accepted that the platform has an obligation to do more to provide balance. He said, you've had a lot of questions over the last few days about our platform policies and the lines we have drawn between what is acceptable and what is not. We have had rules in place for many years but admittedly, we haven't been transparent around the policies that guide our content more broadly. This, in turn, led to questions around their application to serious issues including COVID-19. Based on the feedback over the last several weeks, It's become clear to me that we have an obligation to do more to provide balance and access to widely accepted information from the medical and scientific communities guiding us through this unprecedented time. These issues are incredibly complex. We've heard you, especially those from the medical and scientific communities, and are taking the following steps. The rules, published by Spotify, say that creators should avoid content that promotes dangerous false or dangerous deceptive medical information that may cause offline harm or poses a direct threat to public health. Joe Rogan, whose podcast averages 11 million listeners per episode, also pledged to try and provide more balance. In an Instagram video, he said, My pledge to you is that I will do my best to try to balance out these more controversial viewpoints with other people's perspectives, so we can maybe find a better point of view. I'm not mad at Neil Young. I'm a huge Neil Young fan. He also admitted, absolutely I get things wrong. But he denied trying to spread misinformation, saying he had never tried to do anything with this podcast other than just talk to people. He added, I want to thank Spotify for being so supportive during this time, and I'm very sorry that this is happening to them and that they're taking so much heat from it. Spotify announced the partnership with the Sussex's Archule Audio in December 2020 as they wanted to elevate underrepresented voices. But aside from a 33-minute holiday special that month there has been a deafening silence. After the deal resulted in only one show being streamed, it is advertising for in-house staff to cover every step of the process. The latest move follows Harry and Meghan adding two more entertainment companies to their growing business empire in Delaware. The pair, who stepped back from royal duty last year, are setting up a complex network of companies all based in the opaque tax haven state. Spotify had said it expected the first complete series from Archule Audio in 2021, but has since given no further updates. In July, Archule hired an experienced podcast producer, Rebecca Sonanese, and confirmed it was looking forward to sharing more content later in 2021. Now Spotify is hiring producers through its podcast arm, Gimlet, to work with Archule Audio. The jobs are being offered to applicants on six-month contracts based in Los Angeles.